So we've got our nice bowl here of our smoked whitefish. And oh yeah, that's looking very good. So fairly simple recipe that we're dealing with. Um, you know, we just have a few, a few ingredients. Um, we're gonna just kind of throw those into our bowl. Uh, we've got a, a, a half a clove of garlic. You know, that is, again, you know, what I really like with this recipe is you can do what you want. If you want, if you really like garlic, hey, go for it, add a whole clove of garlic. Um, it's up to you. And I think, you know, a lot of times with fish, people, uh, you know, you, you have your go-to recipes for things like chicken, but fish, you know, maybe you don't really know what you're doing. Um, and it doesn't have to be that complicated. And I think that's what we really would like to, you know, let people know. Um, it is not complicated. Uh, cooking it to temperature makes it uh, really easy. I I use my meat thermometer all the time. Any meat I cook, I'm using temperature. It really simplifies things. Uh, so we've got our half a clove of garlic in there. Uh, we've got a little bit of minced onion. So really just a, a teaspoon of minced onion. Um, you know, and that is a fairly small amount. Uh, and, you know, with this, that looks like a teaspoon to me. I am gonna use that. Uh, we don't have to obsess about uh, you know, exactly how much uh, onion we're putting in there. Uh, we're gonna do a similar amount of celery. So we're gonna get a little crunch in there. Um, you know, this is a mayonnaise based spread. So it's, uh, you know, the mayonnaise is kind of binding everything together, but we wanna have a little crunch in there too, a little color. And that's what this celery brings. And, you know, so feel free. I think this is a little more than a, a teaspoon, but I like to have a little crunch in my spread as well. So. I'm gonna add a little extra there. Um, let's see, we move on. We've got, we wanna have some uh, parsley in there as well. So um, our recipe is calling for a tablespoon of parsley. And again, that looks like a tablespoon to me. We wanna get it into kind of smaller pieces. So it really distributes throughout the, uh, the spread. And we're chopping that up, putting it in. Um, and yeah, let's see what else do we have. We've got some sweet pickle relish, and oh my, uh, my white fish covered hands are having a hard time with this cap. So um, there we go. We got it open. You know, you may need to have a helper in the kitchen to to kind of uh, open jars for you after you've sorted through all this white fish. We're gonna do a, tea, a tablespoon of this sweet pickle relish. Uh, we are going to do a half a tablespoon of some mustard, and I'm I'm using a Dijon mustard, but really, uh, you know, again, there's there's a ton. If you've spent any time in the uh, mustard aisle lately, there's a ton of mustards out there. Pick one you like and go with it. Um, I'm going to throw our fish in now, and let's see what else do we have on our list of things we really we need our mayonnaise so where is my mayonnaise oh all right i gotta find my mayonnaise don't worry i'm still in the kitchen and i just forgot my mayonnaise all right here we go so we're gonna do uh two-thirds of a cup of mayo that's gonna go in here and i've got this uh, plunger cup for measuring it out uh really makes it easy to you know, for these these type of, you know, kind of soft ingredients. Um, I already had it set up to there. We're just gonna fill that up. And, you know, if you if you want your, so your spread a little drier, use less mayo. If you want more mayo, hey, go for it. Add more mayo. That's what I love about, uh, you know, cooking these types of spreads. It's really up to your taste. Try it once. Uh, try it again and really keep going until you you get what you want out of that flavor. Uh, last but not least, we're going to go with a dash of Worcestershire sauce. And there we go. You know, these are, uh, you know, just a handful of ingredients. Um, nothing, you know, you don't have to go around the specialty aisles uh, other than the fish. And we're going to mix that all together. Oh yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's a ton of fish in here. It's gonna be delicious. Um, you know, I wish you were all with me in the kitchen uh, to share this fish with me. Uh, 
my kids are not going to eat it. So really, this is all mine. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, you know, big chunks of fish, and we will, uh, you know, great way to eat it. Just throw it on the cracker. And there you go. Look at that. Delicious fish spread. Smoked white fish, but you know, use whatever you have, whatever you can find, uh, go for it. Different smoked fish, experiment um, and have some fun and support local fish.